Luchika Singh and I am from Ayurka and today I will be talking about my research interest. So ever wonder what our universe is made up of and how this composition affects its overall large scale structure? The first thing that comes to our mind is matter. Our surrounding is all made up of matter. The sun, moon, stars we look are all matter. But that's not all. We have something in the universe which is not made up of matter. It's something which does not scatter off the light like the normal matter does. Hence, we cannot see it. It's not composed of the usual protons, electrons or neutrons. So what it is and how do we know about it if we cannot see it? It's the gravity. The gravity which makes things fall or not, the gravity which makes the earth go around the sun, is the gravity with which the normal matter interacts with the dark matter and hence we know about its existence and it's composed of nearly 30% of our universe. So now, how do we know this? So the dark matter plumps are very huge and massive. The more massive a substance is, the higher is its gravitational pull. And as a result, the dark matter uh, clumps being very massive pulls off the normal matter which it creates inside it. And hey, this combination of matter and the dark matter is known as the dark matter halo where the galaxies we see today, the Andromeda, the Milky Way are born. So now these dark matter halos which contains one or more galaxies combine with other dark matter halos again due to, the, uh, due to the force of gravity and they form a bigger system known as the galaxy clusters which contains thousands of galaxies. Now these galaxy clusters actually shine in X-rays because the gas inside it is heated to millions of Kelvin which radiates and cools off and it radiates in X-rays. Now these galaxy clusters again are not alone in the universe, they are not isolated systems but are connected to their fellow galaxy clusters through bridges of dark matter and galaxies which are known as the filaments. And these bigger system with a lot of galaxy clusters and filaments joining them is called as a super cluster. And in our universe there are many such super clusters. So together all the super clusters are woven into bigger and bigger structures and the whole web is known as the cosmic web with the clusters sitting and forming the nose of, the, uh, super, um, of the, this cosmic web. And my role would be then to study the environment of galaxies as it falls to the filaments and it reads onto the clusters. Thank you.